good everybody welcome back to another my name toys video today ladies and gentlemen we have some brand new wwe action figure reveals for you guys we got our new play set we got some new elites we got some new basics in the house we got a lot of stuff going on guys and i cannot wait to get into it with you guys and break down all the new ish that we're going to be getting and you know some other things we got some other things going on that are like yeah do you have something special going on there young man I don't think so, but maybe you guys think so. So let's just find the hell out together. And we have some figures that made me laugh. We have some figures that I was just like, what the hell is this? What the hell is even that? So we're going to get into it, guys. Let's go ahead and just break down all the images. Let's just dive straight into it, guys. Let's start off with the new WWE Elite Top Picks Wave. Now let's go ahead and start out with the first figure in the wave. We're going to start out with Rey Mysterio. We knew that Rey Mysterio was going to be in the new Top Picks Wave. We've been talking about it for a few months now. And here is the new Elite. Elite. Now, I don't know about you guys, but it reminds me a lot of like his return gear. You remember that gear that he wore, like that black and yellow? It just like when I look at Rey Mysterio in this gear, it reminds me of when he returned for the first time. If you guys get what I'm talking about, maybe I can pull up a, a reference image to what I'm talking about. That's just what it really reminds me of. I know a lot of people made customs of this gear of Rey and everything like that. And it looks like we are finally getting this yellow and black gear. It looks really damn good. It's like kind of like a taxi cab like attire, is what it kind of reminds me me of. You have like the stripes going down the side. You got the stripes on the mask. I mean it is a really cool attire. I actually like it a lot. A lot of part switching you can do with this guy. Put it with other Rey Mysterios. That's probably my favorite thing about collecting Rey Mysterios is just that part switching you know interlocking different parts pairing some different parts together and you can make a, you can make a really sick and nice attire of Rey Mysterio and so that is what this figure looks like. I want to say I feel like his Elite 72 head sculpt look better like underneath the mask but I, I don't know. I may be tripping but it kind of looks like the paint apps on this on this head up under the mask kind of look a little bit off. I could be wrong about that. I don't know. Maybe it's just the angle. I don't know. But Rey Mysterio looks really good. The only thing I have to say is it's not the eye for an eye match. You remember that picture that we saw that Rey Mysterio from the commercial? This is clearly not that figure. So I don't know what that Rey Mysterio Elite is. Is that one canceled? Is that one, you know, not gonna... Is that the Elite 88? I highly doubt that's the Elite 88. That's so far from now. I just don't think... That would be the Elite 88 Rey Mysterio. I don't know if there's going to be like a new Rey Mysterio dropping somewhere. I don't know where that Rey Mysterio came from, but it's clearly the eye for an eye match. So we're going to have to get some answers about that Rey Mysterio here soon. But here's the top picks, Rey. Looks really good. I'm pleased with it. Let me know what you guys think. Let's move on to the next one, guys. We have John Cena for the love of Christ, ladies and gentlemen. This John Cena, I've been waiting on this John Cena forever. Now, I will say, of course, it's got the older legs that are terrible. They always fall over. Over. I mean, I've had a custom of this for a very long time now, but I, I got the hat made. I could never get this shirt made. I, I've, I've hit up many customizers, like many shirt makers, and I always asked them to make this Word Life John Cena Doctor of Thugonomics shirt. They could never make it. Now we're getting it from Mattel, so I don't have to get it made, and I can finally add it up on my shelf. Finally, thank Christ to the John Cena timeline. This is a beautiful looking figure. I love it. I love the hat. I love the shirt. I mean, to be fair with you, the accessories are a lot better than the rest. They just took the Decade of Domination John Cena and paired some better accessories with it. This is what the Decade of Domination Cena probably should have been, but you know, it is what it is. I think it would have been cool if we got maybe, maybe the Decade of Domination Cena could have been this, and then they could have thrown in a different Cena for the top picks, but I'm not complaining, man. This is a great looking Cena figure. Can't wait to grab it. The only thing is the head sculpt, man. I can't stand this head sculpt. It's like we can't get a great young John Cena. He, he still looks super old here. I think it's like something to do with the eyes. Like the eyes look a little bit off. But all these accessories, this John Cena, I've been waiting forever. And they also finally gave him the word life hands where, you know, where his pinkies are sticking out there. So that's absolutely beautiful. We've been waiting on that for a while as well. The only thing, it looks like you can't even put the brass knucks on these hands, I don't think. So that could be a problem. We'll have to see if they're, you know, if you can even clip them on there. But that's pretty cool. And, you know, you can do the you can do the word life thing now. So, I mean, I've been waiting on this for years. Like, since I became a Mattel WWE figure fan, I've been waiting on this. So, this is beautiful. Really happy for it. Maybe a little fix-up. We're going to get the full wave in here for surgery, of course. But John Cena's looking pretty damn good, Brad. Let's move on to the next one, which is going to be Drew McIntyre. Now, Drew McIntyre, this one's actually a really good figure. I like this Drew McIntyre. It's the new skin tone that they gave him in Elite 83. And it's his Royal Rumble winning attire. So, not only kind of a defining moment, if you will. 
He's got the WWE Championship. He did not wear this at Mania. I think his Elite 83 figure is the one he wore at Mania. This is his Royal Rumble gear where he actually won the Royal Rumble. So every Drew McIntyre fan is getting all of his great attires that he has worn so far. You know, a lot of them are pretty plain Jane similar. So adding these two really has caught us up besides his current blue gear that he wears right now. So that's pretty cool. I've been wanting this gear. I think we've talked about it many times on, you know, like when we were getting new Drew McIntyres, I said, I hope it's the Royal Rumble gear. Well, finally, here it is in all of its glory, and the Drew McIntyre looks good. I mean, it's it's a re-release with a new skin tone and a new attire, but at least it's a good attire, and it's the old head sculpt with the new skin tone. That way, you know, you don't get that pale face with the darker skin tone on the Elite 83, so that's a huge upgrade for me. And the last figure in the set, guys, is going to be Roman Reigns. Now, the only thing that pains me about Roman Reigns is he is an exact carbon copy of of the Elite 84 Roman Reigns, and the only thing I can really say about this is it's it's kind of a good thing because it makes the Elite 84 Roman Reigns really obtainable, and if you guys are like, oh, it's the exact same, no back tattoo, all these things, well, Brad, I mean, they use the exact images. They use, I th I'm pretty sure this is the Elite 84, like, Roman Reigns promo images that they used for Elite 84 Roman. The only thing I can really tell you is that it makes the Elite 84 Roman a lot more obtainable. You're going to be able to walk into your Walmart and buy this guy at the drop of a hat so that's really good for us collectors i know we're getting an elite 88 roman reigns and they're probably going to do the same thing like the elite 88 roman's going to make this roman you know pretty insignificant because i'm pretty sure it's going to be a better head sculpt it's going to be an updated tribal chief gold glove roman reigns but until that time you could buy up this roman and make all your different custom romans that you want to do with your vest colors and your interchangeability bloodline romans things like that from the mdt pick fed if you want to make an mdt champion roman reigns this is a great one to pick up and go ahead and customize for yourselves because it's going to be available everywhere and it's got a beautiful looking head sculpt so that kind of does suck however I like this Roman Reigns a lot, and they've done it with the Elite 68 Roman, they did it with the Elite 79 Roman, and here they are with the Elite 84 doing the same thing. So I really, I, I mean, I, you should expect it at this point, Brad, with the Roman Reigns re-releases in the top picks. So let's go ahead and get into this basic line, man. We got basic series, what series is this? Basic series 120. When you guys see this Edge figure, oh my god, look at this Edge figure. This is one of the worst looking basics I think I've ever seen. It is not a good basic man look at this thing the light light green t-shirt almost makes it look I, I don't know it kind of looks like skin tone the head sculpt's not bad even though the hair color is a lot lighter than the Elite 83 head sculpt, which is what this is. It's the Elite 83, except the hair's lighter. I don't know if I like the lighter hair tone or the darker hair tone. I feel like the darker hair tone is more accurate, but this figure just looks weird. Like, it, it, he has, like, the Baron Corbin legs or the Trash Corbin legs, kind of, where it's, like, the skinny jeans with the short boots. And I don't know, man. I just don't find this basic very good at all outside of the head sculpt, man. You guys can let me know what you think of this basic edge. I am just, I, I'm, I'm not, uh, I'm not feeling this one, Brad. Not really feeling this edge whatsoever. Next up, we have a bald Shawn Michaels. And I don't know about you guys, but I do not like this head sculpt either. I just don't see Shawn Michaels in it. It just doesn't look like Shawn Michaels. I mean, yeah, but to be fair, I mean, it's, it's Shawn Michaels bald, so it kind of gets, you know, it takes a little bit to get used to. But I don't know, man. Is it me or just it just looks a little bit off or something like that? I'm pretty sure this is his, you know, Crown Jewel attire. I think it's Crown Jewel. It may be Super Showdown. I can't remember which one he came back for. I think it was Super Showdown. But this Shawn Michaels just looks off to me. It kind of looks like the basic 100 head sculpt, except you shaved all his hair off and he started grinning or smiling. And I don't know, man. I'm just not really feeling it. It, it kind of looks like a Christopher Daniels figure as well. So that's, that is what you will. Really easy to make a Christopher Daniels. Just remove the tattoo and remove the designs off the pants or the hearts off the pants. And bam, Christopher Daniels Mattel Basic. Next up, guys, is Pete Dunne. Now, this Pete Dunne isn't much different. It's the Elite 75 head sculpt, except I think they added a beard. I want to say that figure didn't have a beard. It might have had a beard, just not as detailed as this one is so i don't know you guys can let me know down in the comment section below what you think about that the pete dunn i like the bearded head sculpt right here he's got the mouth guard uh yellow and black attire pretty standard going on right there next up is carrying cross and this head sculpt again man what is this head sculpt i don't think this is a good head sculpt i it just looks odd like they did this with dijakovic as well where like he's looking up so that way when he's looking straight on he looks i don't, I don't know he looks like a zombie or something i don't know exactly how to describe it you guys can let me know his elite head sculpt looks so much better than this i thought for sure it would just be 
a re-release of the Carrion Cross Elite 85 figure head sculpt. That is not what they did here. They gave us a new head sculpt, which I always appreciate. It just looks a little bit off to me. You guys can let me know what you think of that down below. But you can't have Carrion Cross without Scarlet Bordeaux or just Scarlet here. And I really like both of these figures. I think her head sculpt may be a little bit off, but I think that for the most part, you got the full like black bodysuit with like the Insidious style gloves. It's kind of what it reminds me of. If you guys know what I'm talking about. So you have the like full bodysuit, and then you have the not so full bodysuit. Where it's just like uh, her 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 top and her bottoms there without the full pants or the full sleeves. So I like both of them. I think both of them look really good. I think it looks like her. I think the likeness could be a little bit better. Maybe with an eye repaint I think is what it's missing maybe. But I think the skin tone looks good. Hair looks good. Really nice. It's got all of her tattoos on it. You guys can let me know down below. Do you like the full body suit version or do you like the opposite version with it? You know, not full body suit. But overall thoughts on all these figures. I mean, I think it's pretty solid. I thought we were going to get more reveals than this. I thought we were going to see Elite 86 and possibly some Ultimate Editions. So the fact that we didn't get those kind of bothers me a little bit. But uh, hopefully those will be coming very soon. We also have this playset. Hold up, I gotta show you this playset real quick. Where it's like this raw ring. It comes with a red table. It's got this like launch deal. It's got a crane coming off the top of it. And it's like a basic ring. So you guys can do with that what you will. It's kind of like a ladder match slash WWE Championship on a pole match kind of. Which is kind of what a ladder match is anyway. But you have this like launch mechanism. It like explodes the ring or people can like fly up. And then you have this red table, which is really nice. I don't think we've seen a red table like that before, so that's pretty cool as well. And then last but not least, we have these, like, beast figures or unleash the unleash the beast mode uncage me figures or whatever the hell these are, series number two. Going through them real quick, you have The Rock, you have Becky Lynch, you have Kofi Kingston, you have Xavier Woods, you have Big E, you have Seth Rollins in his 2014 gear, so that's a little weird. It's like completely outdated Seth Rollins. We have a Fiend that's really badass with like a like a Bray Wyatt Firefly Funhouse that goes into like a pink Fiend monster. And then you have Undertaker. So out of all these, I think the Fiend slash Bray Wyatt is the best. I like the Rollins with the Flaming Man, but uh, it's a pretty outdated figure. I mean, all of them look pretty good, maybe besides like Becky Lynch or something, but I don't know. I, I'm not really into the little gimmick figures, but they I, I may pick them up. You know, you never know. They, if, if I found one and it was really cheap or something like that and I could just grab it right there in front of me, I might be, uh, you know, it may be worth the grab, but I think that is going to do it for all of our reveals here today, guys. Had a lot of uh, fun going through these and reacting to them with you guys. So you guys can let me know what you think of all the new figures down in the comment section below. But I'm getting the hell out of here, guys. Thank you for watching. Subscribe to the channel. Let's get out of here with our random shout out real quick. And the shout out is going to go to M underscore A Gamer who says, I'm trying to make a pick fed. My problem is motivation. I want to make one, but it's taking time for me to get even in the mood to do the show. And Brad, that is like the essence of pick fedding, I think. Like people, like... For the most part, I think a lot of, like, everybody that does pick fads truly loves them, especially, like, if you've been doing it for a long time. Like, it's really hard to do one for a long time if you don't truly love it. But uh, finding the motivation is definitely something that I struggle with, and it's something that puts a hindrance on my shows big time. I'd say that's what puts a hindrance on my shows for the most part, and it really sucks, bro, because you really can't even explain it. Like, you really want to film it. Like, I want to get through it more than anybody in the world, I think, and I just, I, I sit down sometimes, and I just can't do it for whatever reason, and it really sickens me. But uh, hopefully we can take care of that. But I, I, I'm sorry you struggle with the motivation to film, man. I hope that cheers up for you because I know exactly where you are right now with that. Like, I've been there. I'm currently there right now just trying to get my ish finished up because I want to be there so freaking badly. But huge shout out to you, man, for that comment. That really hit home with me. I, had, I mean, it had 41 likes, and it seems like a lot of people can relate to that. So I don't know. I really appreciate the comment, though, bro. Thank you for watching, man. Let me know what you guys think of all these reveals, and I will see you guys in the next video. Don't cry. Cross the line or you'll end up getting plummeted off the balcony. Plummeted off the You cross the line.